Okie dokies, day seven today. I have um, done one week and it's been actually, I was going to say it's been an interesting journey, but it's actually been really um, pretty okay. I thought it would be a little bit more intense. Um, <clears throat> so as I shared on day one and three, I think it was. So by day three, I started feeling pretty okay. Day four was amazing. I felt like I was flying. Well, I wouldn't say I felt like I was flying, but I just felt really clear. Day five, I had a colonic, which was awesome. And um, yeah, it was just interesting to see, you know, what came out. Just a lot of stuff that was stuck there that, uh, not a lot, but stuff that was stuck there that, you know, had been sitting there for a while. And yesterday I started to, again, so the issue with me that has shown up in my iridology, um, because I did iridology at the beginning of this, <clears throat> that shows up in my body is my lungs, my kidneys and my adrenals, um, but primarily my lungs. And uh, um, a little bit with my heart as well. So day six, I felt my, it's like this, I can still feel that this stuff clearing out of my lungs and I am, a, I'm, I'm getting a kinesiology session next week because I know that there's emotions that are stuck there that I can't access myself. And I haven't been able to access, um, yeah, just kinesiology is phenomenal for, for accessing emotions that we don't want to feel, essentially. So I'm getting that next week. Um, but yeah, day six, my energy levels didn't drop entirely. But I did start to really notice my lungs in terms of just, you know, that they, um, I was a little bit more breathless than I was on days four and five. Today, I woke up, um, I slept in, I've been trying to be really gentle with my body. So I used to be someone who, well, I mean, I still am, but I used to wake up and, um, you know, go for a run every morning or go for a beach swim or have an ice bath at home. What I've been including more of is not waking up to an alarm, <clears throat> uh, gentle walking and um, a lot more nature. So, so this morning I woke up and I actually felt really good. You know, I felt really fantastic. Went to the markets, got my food. So fantastic. Got my food and I have just started to drive down south where I've booked camping for a night. And um, I have had a slight sore throat. So the nasal stuff has still been there. The chest stuff is like the phlegm's kind of gone. But the sound of my voice is still impacted. And <clears throat> there's been, um, I can feel on and off. Interestingly, when I had turmeric the other night for the first time, I could feel this slight um, burning in my throat. It's like my throat started to, um, not when I had the turmeric, but like, my throat the next day um, started to feel like it was um, getting swollen, a little bit red, a little bit swollen. And so this afternoon, as I've been driving down south, I have been getting, like, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but um, yeah, I'm feeling like I have, my, my throat's getting more swollen and I had hot and cold shivers. Like I can feel my body's getting a little bit achy. So I've got a bit of a fever. 
um and I'm just wanting to like be warm on the inside like just be wrapped in a blanket and just yeah be really really warm um and also um nurtured like I've just lay on the earth on the grass for about mm, a half an hour 40 minutes and my whole body is just like oh <sighs> thank you thank you so much thank you so much yeah and it's you know I feel like that's something that <clears throat> myself and also you know I see in so many people it's like this gentle nurturing, you know, this gentle touch, this, <sighs> the way that the feminine within us all gives love, you know, through the, the, the gentleness, the, you know, the way that your mom comes and, you know, tends to you. When you're a child, when you're sick, she cooks you like the soup and she, just like there's a gentle love that you receive during those times and I can really feel how that is not as valued as you know the love that is direct like very obviously direct and um Yeah, I just, like, <sighs> this is, nothing can top this, you know, this love, love, the mothering love within each and every one of us, this gentle, the texture of gentle love. It's gentle, it's nurturing, it's nourishing. Yeah. Mm. So that's where I'm at today.